What is up, darlings? And welcome back to Kirsty's Cars. Okay, so I know 90% of the time I'm here talking about how horrible my luck is. <sighs> Today is no different. <laughs> Today is another one of those days where I tell you guys about my luck and about how much it sucks. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> um, I just replaced the super motor mount. You guys saw that video, I hope. Um, that was exciting, and I was super happy to have the super running good and great and perfect. Um, and then something happened to me, which has a little bit to do with my luck, I think. Um, <laughs> because one second sooner, one second later, it wouldn't have happened. But it was, like, destined for it to happen to me. So, as much as I want to say, you know, oh, my luck's fine, it's not that bad, you know, um, it's actually horrible, and everything bad that could happen happens to me. Like, I'm not even kidding you guys at all. So, the Subaru took a little beating, alright, by fate. Like, literally, it was destined to happen to me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to look at all the bright sides, all the positives, but there's still tons of negatives. Um, I, as you guys know, am building my dream Nova, and I also am working on the El Camino, and I'm also working on the flipping gosh dang Subaru all the time. Um, I don't really have money to spend on these things, like, ugh. Uh. Anyways, let me show you guys the damage, the carnage that happened. Alright, so... A rock. A rock or shrapnel. I don't... The lady behind me said it was a rock. Could we find this rock after the fact? No, we couldn't find the rock. But... Something... Fell from the skies. And hit my front wheel. Alright, like... It shot up, hit my wheel, shot up, and straight took out my mirror. Just took out my mirror. Okay, so this wheel was on the back. That is now a stock Subaru wheel because that's like my full-size spare is my stock that I got going on here. But... Okay, so I took the spare off the front because I needed the spare. The front wheel is the one that got muffed up. Here, let me show you. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is frustrating me so much. But it was fate. Like, look. All right, nothing else on the wheel. Just here, right? Perfect split. That's the only thing that happened. Shot up and took out my freaking mirror. Like, I don't know if it kicked it back and took it out. But literally, no damage anywhere else on the car. Just the wheel in my mirror. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just an insane break, you know? Like, just what the heck? But the cool thing is, is I got two new wheels. All right? We got two new wheels. I'm going to go ahead and just replace... Both fronts, new wheels, new tires. Put this one back on the back. Shabam, then I'll still have my full-size spare. Um, but legit, that is my luck. <gasps> like, that is just my luck. <laughs> how, does, how does it just take out the mirror like that? Like, I'm not even kidding you. I was driving and I heard it hit my wheel, whatever it was. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I just blew a tire. Like, that's what it sounded like. Like, the sound was exactly the sound of like blowing a tire. You know what I mean? Um, and then I looked over and saw that my mirror was gone. <laughs> and I was just like, the freak happened to my mirror? Like, what? It was the most wild scenario. I can't even begin to explain it. Like, well, I guess I just did. But it was just like, this can't be real life. Like, this cannot be happening to me. Okay? And the circumstances were just horrible. Uh, just horrible. All right? All of my worst fears. Nighttime. Stranded. Possibly not having service. Like, just... Ugh. All... All of my traumas all at once got ignited 
within an hour, like, whoo! But luckily, there was a state trooper behind me. He helped me somewhat. I mean, he really just showed up and was like, are you good? And I was like, for some reason, I have a bottle jack. Like, I didn't even have a scissor jack in my car. I don't know. That was not stock with the Subaru. I know they did not give me a bottle jack with that car. I don't know at what point in time that bottle jack got into my car, but I know that was not stock, okay? So I'm sitting here with this bottle jack. My fucking car is lowered, all right? There's, like, no way to even get this jack under there. Like, it's, it was almost hilarious. And then to make things even worse, in front of this state trooper... I go to go, like, bend down to pick up my spare tire, and my strap breaks on my dress. Like, I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> it was a uh, Kodak moment, you know what I mean? But he was also very nice after that, and he um, was just like, I hope you figure it out, and took off. So, I mean, he helped somewhat you know what I mean but in reality ugh, my luck sucks you know what I mean thanks for listening to my spiel you guys had to hear the full story now we're gonna fix this all right because with every instance like this there is an opportunity all right you cannot miss this opportunity all right when you are presented with an obstacle like this in life um it's happened for a reason, and it's to test you. You best believe it's to test you, all right? You can't give up. You gotta keep going. I know I got this, and I know it's an easy replacement fix um, compared to some of the stuff I have been doing. So, I ordered what I could. It cost me almost $200 for this mirror, which is absolutely insane, piece by piece by piece. Like, why can't they sell the mirror in one full part? Why do they gotta sell it like the mirror base, the mirror cap, the actual mirror gloss, like the under cap, like all these different parts and pieces, $60 each, $5 shipping. Oh, I understand, I get it. <sighs> but why can't you just make it easy for me? You know what I mean? Either way, I ordered the parts. I'm still waiting on one piece to this mirror, which is the bottom cap. Um, once that shows up, I'll click it in. But, ugh, this is driving me nuts. And I gotta get rid of that ugly freaking piece of crap. All right, so start by taking the cap and painting it. Um, I do have some color matched paint, and that's what I'm gonna be using. So, and there was a reason why I bought all this stuff, and this is the reason. Because I knew that my luck was gonna lead me right down this path. <laughs> but painting easy peasy how do you guys think i got this far i got this all right i got this and i'm not scared i know i got this i just have to find some tires ah! there's a fucking spider on my foot oh no 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 sir no oh my goodness goodness Ah, sorry, I'm not, uh, I don't like spiders, but <clears throat> we're going to start with some sand and painting, get this cat painted, we're going to get it matching the Subaru, and then we're going to install the new one and see how it goes. Somehow, in the madness, my fog light housing came out, no other damage to anywhere on the car, Um, just the fog light housing popped out. And the funny thing was, was that this fog light, <laughs> right here, was still plugged in and was just pretty much tucked in here, hiding out. So the whole housing exited, but left the fog light still intact. The bulb's still good. So I went ahead and purchased new fog light housing. And we will get that installed. So look, here's my cap. Ah! Um, this obviously is not the color of the Subaru. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down. Um, depending on what sandpaper I have, I might use like 800 grit. I'm not really sure yet. But I just need to get rid of all this shiny. Get rid of all the shiny and then we'll prime it, we'll paint it, and we'll clear it. And then we got itself 
Super easy to install. I will show you guys that here in just one minute. Super easy, okay? Um, but what they don't tell you is that there's a cap that goes on the bottom, which is black. And then there's also this back cap, which goes on the back. But you need both caps or else this will all be exposed like that. Um, and that's the part that I'm still waiting on. I had to order the bottom cap separate from where I bought the rest of it. So I will try to include all of the part numbers in the description so that if you're needing this, you can grab them as well. Um, and this is my fog light housing, which I, I just don't understand how this like exited the chat and left everything else like I don't get that but I guess I kind of do because that the fog light just kind of sits here there ain't really no clips or nothing it's kind of just rests up in there so I guess this exiting will just leave the fog light sitting there which makes sense now I understand but we also bought the glass which you have to buy separate which is absolutely ridiculous um And this will just snap right on in there. Since this is a heated mirror, I have to plug in the, the little cord dealios that got going on here. And then it'll just snap on into there like that. Bam. And I know you guys are all hot riders with me. We are not looking to work on the Subaru at all. Okay, so I'm going to throw in a few little parts of some hot rods for you guys. I've been working on stuff. We got wheels for the Nova. We got some Boyd Connington wheels, man. I'm going to polish them suckers up, man. They're going to look so good. I'm excited, man. They look fresh compared to what I had. We are going to rock the Boyd Coddington wheels. Heck yeah, man. These are 17s. Once they're polished up, man, they're going to look beautiful. I think I might have Maya come help me polish these up. Like I said, this is a budget build, and we're going with what we can find and what we can get. You know what I mean? Right, I got my pit crew, and we are heading out. All right, so we're gonna run to AutoZone and get some chrome polish, which my dad slash her grandpa recommended to us um, before he passed. Why? Take a video anywhere. Hello. We don't, but thank you though. Sweet. We do not need seat covers. <laughs> All right, so. AutoZone failed us, but O'Reilly's had what we needed. So we got our supplies. We are heading back to the shop. Well, I might have to go to work first, but we're gonna get something done today. I know that much for sure. Right, ma'am? Yep. One way or another, we'll get it done. Alright, so we got the wheel for the and if you guys don't know, the purple is for pancreatic cancer awareness. Uh, from my dad passing away from pancreatic cancer. Yeah. That's why I stuck with the purple wheels. I personally did this. Oh yay. Fresh and clean. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna get these bad boys mounted onto some new tires, and then we'll have two new friends. Thank you. Okay, this is just so awesome. Literally, you guys, I got fan mail. Ah, super exciting, I cannot even explain. If you guys wanna send me something, I have a PO box. It's in my description. You could definitely send me something. Let's check out what's in here. Ooh. This is honestly so cool. Honest Peyton's speed shop, you guys. 
How freaking sick is that? I got sent some fan mail of some Hot Rod stickers. I am absolutely going to go search you up and follow you. This is awesome. Thank you so much for these. Like, um, I also got another... Okay, so I, I like had this thing with my post office where I get this app and it like tells me what mail I'm gonna get for the day. And I'm gonna post a picture right now of a piece of mail that I was supposed to get that I didn't get. And I went to the post office and I was like, what the heck, like I was supposed to get this, but I didn't. And they were like, oh, sorry, those pictures are taken in Denver and we can't control that and we have no idea where it is. So I never got this piece of mail. And I really just wanted to see what this mail was. So if this was you, I'm sorry, but I didn't get this piece of mail. So please resend whatever it was. <laughs> I am so incredibly sorry. That sucks to say. And unfortunately, some of the mail, I guess, gets lost. And that really aggravates me. Either way, you rock, man. I really appreciate you sending me something like that, even though I don't know what it was. Hopefully it was something good. All right, we got this. We are going to put this in, get my fog light hooked back up. So there was a miscellaneous wire in here. Oh, there it is. So we gotta attach that back to my fog light, which is over there. You see that light over there? Circle one. Yeah. That's what we're gonna use. Gonna plug it in. Okay, plug it in. Yeah. All right, so we got that. Maybe I was supposed to install that another way. Not really positive. Oh, whoa. Oh. But that's how that works. We now have our fog light housing in with our fog light. It is back to normal. Heck yes, Maya, we got that done. Next would be the mirror. This has took, uh, some damage. And so we'll show you here how we get to this mirror. Well, hopefully my alarm doesn't go off. I ain't gonna lie, this is pretty nice. Having little helpers. Oh, I'm just relaxing here. They're saying it for me. And I'll get some primer down. All right, so I had the kiddos go ahead and wet sand that down for me. Prep spray it, tack cloth it, make sure we get all this dust off, because that is no good. The old box technique. Do some painting in this little tiny booth was just sufficient. It will do. But the kiddos helped me out with this. How cool is that? I mean, totally awesome. We're going to throw it on this stand and we are going to paint her. We're going to start out with some prep spray. Here we go. Um, I do any sort of anything. I use tack cloth. Usually, I'll leave it in the wrapper like this. She's looking beautiful. We got primer on it. We'll go ahead and sand it, tack cloth it again. And then we will color match it with the Subaru paint, which hasn't been used in a while, but it is our gray that we are looking for. All right, it is time to remove this base. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. Easy and quick. All right, right in here, you'll see this little piece. This is, believe it or not, removable. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Just need a little piece of something. Oh, there we go. Bam pops out just like that. We're just gonna remove these ones. 
unplug this clip right here and we will be good to go. You know, uh, could use a socket, could use a screwdriver. I'm just going to use a screwdriver today because, you know, it seems easiest. Sounds good to me. I got two bolts here. Just need to work on this last one. Little snap clip. Bam. Unplug this. This look brilliant. Absolutely. We're gonna go ahead and take my tack cloth for this. Get off all the excess. It looks so shiny. Polish in. Give it a fine coat and let it dry. Then we will wipe it all down. The other ones are sitting over here. Oh, it's gonna look good. It is gonna look good. Slowly but surely, she is uh, coming along. Keep escaping back out here into the night because it's a beautiful night out tonight and I am thoroughly enjoying it. It's beautiful out. So I'm glad that I waited for the nighttime because who is jumping on the trampoline? Diesel. It's late, my bro. Just hanging out on the trampoline tonight? If you're hot for this, I put it in a freezer. A freezer bracelet? Yeah. Does that work? Yes. Is that a thing? Yes, metal, it gets cold. <laughs> that is very cool. I'm gonna try that out. <laughs> all right, you got all four wheels with a layer of chrome polish. Yes. What do you think? Did it go on smoothly? Yeah, it did. We'll see how it comes off, I guess. Bam! All right, love. Thanks for your help. You're the rock. I'll be in in a minute. Thank ya. I'm gonna try and uh, do one more coat on this bad boy. I am absolutely blessed to have my daughter out here helping me. Um, she's always super excited to help me and I'm so very grateful for it. A lot of the time I struggle trying to find stuff for her to do that's safe for her. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, um, because I'm mama bear and I'm super protective over her. Or disappears into my door. So, Ugh. I gotta go remove all this stuff. It popped this little screw Heidi door. Once I get that undone, this whole door panel thing should pop off, and then I'll be able to unplug that one freaking simple plug that I cannot reach with my fingers because it goes just beyond reach of the finger. <laughs> and just kind of loosen that corner to where I can slip my hand in there because I really don't want to deal with taking the whole dang door panel off and I 1 million percent feel that it, that is not necessary. Um, <laughs> as long as I can fit my hand in there, we'll be They took out um, that one screw right here behind the door handle. And then if you just kind of pull up and tug, the whole corner will pop up. Uh, yeah, you can see it down there even. Which, when I do this, my mirror is gonna fall off. So I need to uh, set this down for a second. Okay, first, first, 
stickers. How do you do this? Like literally, I need a GoPro, you guys. But for now, we work with what we got. You just gotta reach down here with your little hand. You unplug this little clip, which is kind of hard to feel. <laughs> Two hours later. You are coming up, my friend. I am done playing these games with you. <laughs> what the freak? Three hours later. That's a stupid clip right there. I'm over that thing, you know? We're ready for the new and improved. Which would be this bad boy right here, you hear me? And there's that clip that we hate. Just gotta plug that bad boy in. We'll be good to go. All right, pull stupid plug. Your stupid square on stupid Subaru. Deal. Oops. I just lost. But yeah, as long as you align some bolts in there and get it nice and uh, good to go, it won't be pulling on your wire while you're trying to plug it in. Every little bit though step towards progress, be it on the Subaru, be it on the Nova, be it on the El Camino. Every little step counts. All right, let's get this plug, get this plug. How's it coming? Good, good. Yeah, that stuff's easy to put on and not so easy to take off. Doing good, doing good. Ooh, do you shiny doing? We're looking hot. It's a hot day. Alright. Gonna see how clean we can get these bad boys. Cause I know we can do better than that. Alright, I think that looks better, if I don't say so myself. The back side, and the right side. We rock it. It's hot out today. Woo! 
I just want to emphasize how important it is to change the filters on these masks. Like, look at that, for real, it's insane. That could have been in my lungs, people. So, if you can see the difference, I recommend changing these after every project. I would say the makeshift paint booth has done me well so far, yeah. I've been putting a little puddle of water down on the floor because you'll notice like when you spray the overspray, it'll collect to the water. Yeah, see all that gray? There's like silver flakes all in there and stuff, yeah, yeah. It's so that it kind of doesn't go anywhere else. It's kind of brilliant. I haven't had really any overspray at all, so. I'm just gonna keep dumping water there, you know? I don't remember where I learned that hack, but I learned that hack somewhere. I think it works. Seems to work. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <sighs> we're almost done here. Uh, while we're waiting for that coat to cure, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to put the actual mirror onto the mirror. You know what I mean? So, if you guys can see right here in the back of the mirror, there's those two prongs. That's gonna be where you're plugging it in, all right? And that's gonna help you heat your mirrors because this is a heated mirror. As you guys can see, there's those two plugs right there. They're the ones we are looking for. And then this slot and this slot, and then those two slots are what is going to clip on at the bottom and slide on on the top. So we're gonna plug in the wires first, and then we're gonna slide it up and clip in the bottom. That's what we're going for. So we're going to undo these two little pluggies right here. Down, down. Plug them bad boys onto there. Just like so. Nice and snug. And now, like I said, you gotta get that top first. I got it! movement Check. so we got our mirror bam bam all right now we just got to get the cap on I think we should be ready for a another coat so I was just noticing that there's a big old dent right there right big old dent and I was like dang it I also completely forgot that I have a brand new fender over there. <laughs> brand new. Already painted. I've just been waiting. Just been waiting for when the time came. This is coming along nicely. Very, very nicely. I do like my paint booth. Got this put back together. I had to take out that one and this little door one. But then this little piece just goes back in here, like so. If I can get it. Do you see where that orange thing goes in? Kind of a tricky little piece, huh? Here, let me, let me come inside. Just push it. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like that's right. Hey, your mirrors look exactly the same. Bam! Bam! This bad boy's ready for some clear coat, I'd say. 
we're just gonna go with the flow. I mean, there are some imperfections, but it's a mirror, you know, and it's gonna go onto this car, which is clearly not perfect. So it almost just, it just works. Oh yeah. Got her all sand it. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard work. Hard work. So, went ahead and just got behind that wheel well and popped that little dent out. Can't even tell it was there. Like that. Alright. Well, that solved that problem. So I guess I don't need to replace that quite yet because, I mean, never hurts to have a spare. So, I mean, that one could look a lot worse. Might as well just wait and see if uh, my luck evens out, you know? All right, I think she looks brilliant, and we are going to go ahead and put her on. I'm so excited. We're just gonna snap her into place, because that's all it takes at the end, is just a little click and a little snap. Gosh, look at that! Bam! I would say that is, okay, the rest of the car is dirty as heck, I need to wash it. <laughs> Don't look at that, but, if you can call a color match anything, I mean, I would say I color match that pretty freaking perfect. We're just waiting on this bottom cap, which should show up here within the next couple days. But gosh, guys, I'm so just pumped for this. This was great. Heck yes. Mirror complete, fog light complete. Now all I gotta do is go throw some new tires on my wheels. I'll be good to go. Subaru back in action. I mean, I'm not made out of money. I don't have my own paint booth. I don't have none of that stuff. But I might do with what I got. That's all we can do, people. That's what Kirstie's Cars is about. We are working with what we have. It's awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us as we tackle these little tasks, getting us one step closer to our big goals. You guys absolutely rock. If you want to purchase some merchandise, you go to kirstiescars.com. Using the discount code CARS with a capital K, capital A, capital R, and capital Z will get you $5 off every shirt purchased. You guys rock.